Now, the Lord pronounces a couple of woes on some people in this section that's – it's fascinating to look at the, the interplay between these two. Look at verse 16 and 17, the very first word of both. You could mark it, woe and woe, okay? Look at verse 16. Woe unto you rich men that will not give your substance to the poor for your riches will canker your souls, and this shall be your lamentation in the day of visitation and of judgment and of indignation. The harvest is past, the summer is ended, and my soul is not saved. He's giving them a gentle reminder that if you keep allowing your money, your riches, whatever they may be, to be your God, they're going to canker your soul, and at the end of the summer when the harvest is brought in, your soul isn't going to be saved. You're, you're going to be stuck 